and good afternoon, ladies and, and gentlemen. I'm Eric from MyTech. Today, I'm very happy to introduce MyTech PCI Gen 4 JBuff Crystal Lake to all of you. And Crystal Lake is the PCI Gen 4 scalable PCI Gen 4 JBuff uh, using OCP slate as a building block. The key advantage of this product is it is easy to deployment into both OCP rig as well as the traditional 19 inch rig. From the capacity wise, it can uh, up to 48 uh, U.2 SSD, as well as if you using the M.2 can up to 96. Data I can explain more. Uh, there are two kinds of the uh, a shelf will be used in, in the Crystal Lake. One is the 21 inch, and the other is the 19 inch. For the 21 inch slate, the height is 2OU. For the dimension, is 800 by 536 by 93.2 millimeter. For using the 21 inch, we can support up to three storage, storage slate. For the 19 inch shelf, the height also OU, 2OU. Dimension is a little bit narrower. Uh, its dimension is the 765 by 431 by 92.6 millimeter. In the 19 inch shelf, it can support two storage tray. Okay, so for the slate specification, per slate, it can support up to 16 U.2. Again, the 32 M.2 MVMV SSD. Uh, there are 16 LAN uh, for the expansion via mini SAS HD connector. We are using uh, the SP uh, 2500 series BMC chip as an enclosure management tool. And using a PCI Gen 4 switch, 100, 100 LAN. And from the management I.O., we have one gigabit RJ45 connector and one mini SAS USB port for the debug purpose. There are two fans inside the slate for the cooling. I have uh, introduced the high level concept the design product in previous slide. Maybe you still don't know uh, how it works. I will take uh, the photo in this slide to design our design concept for you. You can see Sorry. So you can see uh, the Crystal Lake is our design building block. Uh, using this building block, we can either install to the 21-inch shelf or install into the 19-inch shelf. If you choose the 21-inch shelf, you can install up to three slates into the shelf. Then you can install the 21-inch shelf to the OCP rig. If your uh, data center don't have the 21-inch shelf, you still can use the building block using MyTech uh, proprietary 19-inch uh, shelf. You can put up two slate into the 19-inch shelf via MyTech ESA solution. Then you can install uh, the shelf into the traditional 19-inch rig. Maybe you will ask, what is the ESA? The ESA stands for Enclosure Subassembly. Uh, it helps convert the traditional 19-inch rig to be adapt adaptable with the OCP solution. No need to rebuild the whole data center facility. So you can see uh, what is the ESA component. It including a 19-inch shelf and the bus bar, which we are located on the real side of the rig in 19 inch rig. And we also have a two adapter plate, which we are located on the both side of the 19 inch rig. The adapter plate transfer the EIA server mounting hole to the OCP mounting hole. In this way, you can install the 
OCP slate into the traditional 19-inch rig. So the advantage uh, is you can share the, the sheer power advantage, so you can have a more power saving. Or because you don't have to buy another rig, uh, so the more the money saving, quick adoption, adoption uh, interchangeable. And the vendor lock in free, those kind of advantage in the ESAS. This is the Crystal Lake uh, from view, looks like. Uh, top one is 21 inch, and the bottom one is 19 inch. So follow the OCP concept, we put the, all the I.O. in the front side. It is including uh, one, one by four mini SAS HD uh, connect to the whole side. And one RJ45 for the management port. And one mini USB for the debugged purpose. A similar in the 19 inch version. Oh, this is the uh, uh, system outline dimension. Uh, again, there are two kinds of the, the shelf, so the dimension is different between 21 inch and the 19 inch. The major difference is the width. Three with the 437 versus 431.2 millimeter. Now this is the system real view, uh, very similar. Using the Medusa connector to deliver the power from the rig to the slate. In order to provide the fan and SSD hardware support, we designed uh, the power brush and the power rail to deliver power during the the sled being pulled out, we still ca uh, can provide the, 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 the power. And also in this slide, we have the side view. We can find the, the fan, SSD, and the switch, switch board located. And in the following two slides, I would like to introduce how to maintain the flow in the Crystal Lake. The first one is the fan module. The step one to remove the fan is you need to pull out the slate first, then remove the fan module from the top. Uh, it is the hot swap function, so no need to shut down the power. And also the SSD, S similar, you need to pull out the, the, the slate first, then you can remove the SSD from the side. Uh, in order to put the 110 M.2 SSD into the carrier, the traditional U.2 carrier, we uh, fine tune the, the U.2 carrier dimension, make it a little deeper. In this way, we can allow to put the two 110 M.2 SSD into the, the U.2 carrier. So the capacity-wise, not capacity, the quantity, the, you can, in this way, you can uh, support up to 96 M.2 SSD in the Crystal Lake. Okay, there are four kind of PCBA in the Crystal Lake. There are, the first one is SSD ball with 12 layer, and also the switch ball with 10 layer, power ball six, and fan ball six. This is the, uh, the Crystal Lake, the system di block diagram. And, and in order to make it easier to identify, we make the different color for the different ball. So you can easily to identify which component located in which ball. So uh, you can see uh, 16N from the host, host side to the PCI switch, then fan out to the uh, end device, 16 MVMe. And uh, the BNC is located in the SSD ball instead of the switch ball. So we can have more flexibility for, for the future design change. For example, you want to change the PCI switch from one supplier to the other supplier without change anything, only change this one. Okay, so the thermal design power budget for the sleigh is 592 watt, 
per slate, which means uh, for the system label, uh, 21 inch shelf, there are three slates in the, the shelf. So total design power is uh, 1776 watt. And for the, for the 19 inch version, the power budget is 1184 watt. We propose two kinds of the com compute J buff the topology. One is by 16, and the other is by 8. So by, by 16 mean uh, each computing state uh, have 16 LAN connect to the, to the J bar. So they are the system, very similar in the 21 inch and, and the 19 inch, which mean one computing slate use one J bar. For the, uh, uh, the by A version means each computing slate provide by A the link, PCA link, link to the J bar, which means you need a two computing slate for one J bar. This is uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the recommendation from my tech side. Okay, so this is my uh, last page for the present file. We con contribute the concept to the OCP uh, uh, Q4 last year. Then we starting from the Gen 3 JBuff design. The estimate the launch schedule for the Q uh, for the Gen 3 is Q2, Q3 this year. And the, for the Gen 4, the estimated launch schedule will be Q2 2020. You can get a more uh, detailed information from either from you access the OCP web or you can mail us to get more information. And we also very welcome you to visit us, our booth at the D2 to see the real sample. Oh, so thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> we have any questions? All right, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs>